Hello everybody out there. Um, we're back again to do another video. Um, today I'm going to do um, another video um, going along with the uh, um, um, Bohemian Grove today and um, I'm going to do the Freemasons today and then God willing tomorrow I'll do um, Illuminati one. So um, let's get right into this um, and let's see what the Bible has to say about Freemasons and the things that they do. Okay, first let's go to Ezekiel 8, 12 through 16. Then said he unto me, Son of man, hast, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark? Every man in the chambers of his um, imaginary, for they say, The Lord seeth us not, the Lord hath forsaken the earth. He said also unto me, Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations uh, that they do. Then he brought me to the door of the gates of the Lord's house, which was towards the north. And behold, there sat women weeping for Talzim, Tamzim. Okay. Then said, um, uh, then said he unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Turn, turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than these. And he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house. And behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about five and uh, about five and twenty men with their backs towards the temple of the Lord and their faces towards the east and they worship the sun toward the east okay <clears throat> um, all mason lodges face towards the east um, the women's lodge is called um, east the eastern stars so in the same way that like, it's interesting the same way that Muslims you know they pray to the east to Mecca to the to the um, black stone you know which is it's to me it, it's got to be like a, a representation of Lucifer or a part of Lucifer it could be Lucifer himself you know like in encaved in, in some kind of meteorite stone um, but it's interesting that the the Masons temples also face that way and see here how the Lord says they have their back to the temple and so they have their back turns to God and they're worshiping the sun towards the east and um, and we know that the sun you know is a representation of um, um, Nimrod and Apollo and the Egyptian sun gods and and, and all of that which pretty much uh, from what I understand like Rob Skiba and some of this, uh, some of those people who do research like that he makes a good point that Nimrod is all of those like Apollo is Nimrod because when the, after the Tower of Babel um, Nimrod was still alive and he went out and he went to all these different types of places and was still king and ruler over where, where all the people scattered when, when the um, languages were confounded so he was still kind of ruler over them so every place he went they, he had a different name now right and and he began to be a mighty man so he began to be a giggle giggle boy, or however you say it and so you know he became to be like a god to them so that's why they you know worship it like that um okay now let's go to this oaths they take a lot of oaths um they even have oaths to to where they'll be they're disemboweled and, and all this kind of stuff if they break the oaths so they even have oaths to the death and which is just completely against, you know, what um, what God says. Like in Jesus, listen to what Jesus says in Matthew five thirty four through thirty seven. But I say unto you, swear not um, at all, neither by heaven, for uh, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is His footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great King. Neither sh um, shalt thou swear by thy head. Right. So they're saying that that, um, that they're that they'll die for the secrets that they're keeping in this Freemason. And, and Jesus is like, don't swear by thy head, because thou cannot s not make one hair white or black, um, but let your um, communication be um, ye and, and ye, yea and yea, nay and nay, for whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. Okay? So oaths are evil. And I mean, that's what Jesus is saying. He's saying, um, just say yes or say no, um, for whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. So it, 
Jesus said don't take any oaths, especially oaths on, on, um, to a God or to the God, the one true God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and or to him, you know, and, and don't even do it on, on cities, don't do it on your head. So they're um, disobeying what, what Jesus said and being, once again, antichrist, okay? Um, James 5, 12 says... Um, but, but above all things, my brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by earth, neither by any other oath, but let your yea be yea and your nay be nay, lest ye fall into condemnation. Okay? I mean, can't get any, can't get any easier to understand from what Jesus just said and what James just said, you know? Um, don't take any oaths. Um, and that also goes for... Um, this just popped into my head that I feel like I should share it because I was talking about Nimrod. That also goes with like college, you know. It, it also goes with when when you go to college um, and and you go into a sorority or a fraternity. That's bad. They worship Greek gods. You are making oaths to Greek gods when you go and you do that. I mean, that's that's completely contrary to. And you can get. I believe definitely you can get. You make an oath to these gods, which really aren't gods. They never were gods. They were demons, which are still around. Some of them may be uh, in chains of eternal darkness. Some of them may be roaming around. Most of them are still roaming around. Um, so when you're making oaths to these things, you're opening a doorway for them to come into your life. You know. Um, so don't do that. Um, <laughs> um, I have a whole thing about university anyway and where it really came from and colleges and how it's really to it's a, to get you into their satanic system and to get you to believe like they believe especially think about how many kids leave from high school in good christian families they go to college and they become atheists because they're they're smart professors or whatever you know worldly wisdom trick them into believing there's no god so really it's it, it's not really a, a good thing <laughs> Okay, um, they do a lot of hand signals, they do foot signals, they, um, they um, use words and sentence codes, um, all of these um, the Freemasons use, and if you want to go research that, you can. Um, they, they do, you know, they do a lot of handshakes and different things like that, and Proverbs 6, 12 through 15 says, A haughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a forward mouth. He, he winketh with his eyes, he speaketh with his feet, right, making foot signals. He, he teacheth with his fingers, right, hand signals and handshakes. Um, uh, forwardness is in his heart. He deviseth um, mischief uh, continuously. He, um, he, he soweth discord. Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. All right. Um, they worship. It's widely known that once you get up past the 33rd degree that they worship Lucifer. They say he's a light bearer, but they can say he's a light bearer. They can say whatever, but he's Lucifer. Um, Isaiah 14, 12, of course, says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which doest weaken the nations? Right? So... Lucifer is Satan, you know, I mean, he's Lucifer, so they're worshiping it. Whether they're saying that he's the light bearer or he's Lucifer, they're still worshiping it because they try to make it seem like that he's good, that he's the good God that really tried to help us and, and all this other stuff. And and it, it doesn't matter how they're deceived by thinking that he's good or not. He could portray himself as an angel of light, so they're still worshiping Lucifer. Um, Isaiah... Well, well, God sees what they do in their dark and secrets. Um, Isaiah twenty nine fifteen through 16 says, um, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us, and who, who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of, of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, um, he had no understanding? So you see how they're like the Illuminati also. They believe they're being enlightened. 
So they do all their, but it's just funny how they're enlightened, but they do everything in the dark and in secret. You know, that that's just, it, it's, you know, like in Isaiah, the other part of Isaiah, it says, Woe to them that, that call good evil and evil good, that call um, um, sweet bitter and bitter sweet, right? And that's what they're doing. They're, they're saying they're enlightened, but yet they're in the dark when, when they do all these things. And here, um, um, where it says, like, um, he hath no understanding, speaking of God having no understanding, they believe that, you know, that they're more enlightened than even God because if they believe that Lucifer is the true real God and that he is there to help them then they think they know more than God and they have more understanding than God okay um, Jeremiah 20 Jeremiah 23 um, says um, well first um, no secret places from God uh, Freemasons started the so-called American dream right and they believe that they're in secret places uh, Jeremiah 23, uh, 23 to 27 says, um, Am I a God at hand, uh, saith the Lord, and, and not a God afar off? Can, can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? No, um, do not I feel heaven and earth, saith the Lord? I have heard what the prophet said. Um, that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I, ha I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the hearts of the prophets that uh, prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own hearts, which think to cause my people to forget my name um, by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their fathers have forgotten my name for Bill, right? So you see how what I'm saying here is that um, they are prophets because they, you know, are it's a religious system. A lot of people would would tell you that, that that they believe it's a Christian organization, right? But it's not. They're false prophets that for Lucifer, and and they're trying to, you know, a lot of people believe that um, George Washington and all the founding fathers were mason and luminist so you see how they bring in their dreams and it's called the american dream and everybody's supposed to fall in line with their dreams and it and it it's contrary to what god wants for all of us and i thought that spoke really good in, in jeremiah there about that okay um all um, masonic lodges oh i already did that face the east um yeah i already did that one okay next then we'll go to uh, Jude, I'm not going to read the um, whole book of Jude, but um, if you look at it, it's about apostasy. Um, and I really believe that there's a few verses in there that are speaking of the Masons in the church buildings themselves, that they have infiltrated that today. And especially if you look at verse 4, it says, um, for their... For there are certain men um, crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Ordained. Remember that they're ordained into their own organization, right? To their Freemason organization. That's what their loyalty is to. Their loyalty is not to your church. It's not to God and Jesus. It's to their God, Lucifer, and their organization, the Masons. They're ordained by that. Um, ungodly men... Um, turning the grace of God into lasciviousness and denying the only God, the, the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ, right? I mean, and if you read on, it says, you know, that, um, um, it, I mean, it just speaks a lot about that. If you really look at it in that way that, that, um, that they've crept in, that they're, that they're, um, these are spots in your feast of charity when they, uh, um, when they feast with you, feeding themselves with, without fear, clouds they are with without water, um, carried about of winds, um, trees whose fruit withereth without a fruit, um, twi twice dead, plucked up by the roots. See, they don't have anything to offer, really. You know, they they are um, they don't have any rain to come down on you they don't have any love for you they are just there to um push their own uh, freemason agenda okay um math uh, J, uh jesus 
Jesus kept no secrets um, from the disciples and from all of us, right? Matthew 10, 26 through 27 says, Fear them not therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and hid that shall not be known. Um, what, I, what I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light. Um, and what ye hear in the ear, that, um, that preacheth ye upon the housetops. So you see how Jesus says whatever he tells you in, in the darkness, like in, in, to them it was like in a house. To me it also seems what, like it says in um, Job that God speaks to us in dreams, you know, so in the darkness of, 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 of the night in our dreams, God speaks to us and tells us a thing. Um, God speaks to us in our minds and, and speaks to us a thing. But see how he says whatever I tell you in darkness. So even if he's telling you something in a house or in your mind or somewhere else, he says speak it in the light. Go and yell it from the rooftops, you know. Um, they speak things in darkness and keep it to themselves, you know. They, they keep all of the knowledge for, them, for themselves, you know. And, and God says um, that he reveals all to, to his prophets, you know. Okay. Um, uh, they say they are enlightened and worship the light bearer Lucifer, but they hide their so-called light from the world. But God, through his end times people, are revealing the secrets of, of the Freemasons. Um, amen to that, right? We will uh, continue to shout from the housetops their evil secrets. Um, what, can, what can they do? Um, kill us? Um, good, then we get to go be with Jesus, right? And if you... I mean, the worst thing they can do supposedly is kill us, right? Um, but then again, in the same aspect, you look at Luke eight sixteen through eighteen, and it says, "No man, when he hath a candle, um, cover it with a vessel, or putteth under a bed, but um, setteth it on on a candlestick, um, that they which enter in may see the light. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest." Neither anything hid that shall not be known and come aboard. Um, take heed, therefore, how ye hear. For um, whosoever hath, to him shall be given. And whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken even that which uh, he esteemeth to have. And then Luke 12, 1 through 5 says, in, in the meantime, when there were gathered together, um, and an innumerable multitude of people, in so much that they uh, trod one uh, upon another, uh, he began to say unto his disciples, first of all, Beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid um, that shall not be known. Therefore, whosoever whosoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light and and that which ye have spoken in the ear and closets um, shall be proclaimed upon the housetops um, and, and I say unto you my friends um, be not afraid of him that can kill the body and 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 after that have no more that they can do but I will forewarn you whom you sh shall fear fear him which which after he hath killed hath power to cast into hell ye I say unto you fear him right so that's Jesus that's God that's the only ones that can do that they can destroy the body and and cast you into hell so you know, the worst thing they can do what is kill us and that's not a bad thing like Paul said it's better to be you know um, out of the body and to be with Christ like in Philippians 1 19 through 21 he says for I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayers and and the supply of the Spirit of uh, Jesus Christ uh, according to my earnest expectations and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed um, but that with all boldness right with boldness we're coming forward and, and telling their secrets and 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 just revealing their darkness to the light um, as always so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body whether it be by life or by death for to me to live is Christ and to die is gain right so as revealing these secrets as um, as showing that they are against God now let's even a lot of them will say you know well we don't worship Satan we don't worship Lucifer we don't do that you know we worship God and all that kind of stuff um, let's just say that they do 
let's just say that it is a Christian organization and they do worship God. Okay, let's take the Lucifer part out of it. Everything else that they do, like I've just read from the Bible, is contrary to what Jesus said. They do handshakes. They make oaths. They do, um, they, they do all these things which are contrary to what God says. So even if you take the Lucifer worshiping out of it, they still are, are contrary to what God says, just like a lot of the megachurches and all that are completely contrary to what God. They've they're got coffee shops, and they're selling stuff all in the... the um, they're selling Bibles, which you're not supposed to sell the Word. You're really supposed to give the Word away. You're not supposed to sell a Bible. I mean, it says that in Proverbs, you know, don't don't sell it. Um, and... Um, Sorry, let's trade thought for a second. Oh yeah, the mega churches are the same way. They have coffee shops and, and selling T-shirts and selling all these books and all these kinds of things. Well, Jesus would walk in there and, f and and freak out like he did when when he walked in to the um, to the temple and with the money changers and threw the table over and and made a whip and all that stuff. You think he wouldn't? They're doing the same thing. They're bringing people in to hear about God and hear about Jesus and hear God's word and worship God, but they're trying to get money out of them while they're doing it right for for unprofitable gain and and i'm not passing judgment on all these churches and all this other stuff because there are some churches that do good and, and even mega churches that do good and help the poor and do people but it just kind of makes me sick when i see these churches building big glass fronts coffee houses and all this other crap in their churches when they could take imagine you could take that money and go buy and go build somebody house that's homeless or, or, or needs a house to stay in or, or you know what I mean or, or the ministers driving around in, in a in a Cadillac or a Lexus or something like that you know they should have a, a, a cheaper type car and then go buy a family who doesn't have a car or another car with that type of money you know I mean so and so God calls some people to be rich and, and to help other people. He caused somebody to be poor. Abraham was very rich. Abraham was very rich. But Abraham also, the riches didn't control him. When, 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 they, when Lot and him divided the land, Lot took the better of the land. And Abraham didn't say nothing about it. He just let him. But you see how when, when Lot took the better of the land, it, it also was not a good because it made him in contact with Sodom and Gomorrah. So he, because he took the riches and the greater part, he went and had to deal with Sodom and Gomorrah. And Abraham had to deal with it a little bit, but not like in the middle of it like Lot did. Um, so you see how Abraham was rich, but he used the riches for, for godliness. Um, but you see in Acts, God tells them in di different people, give, all, give everything away and, 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 and sell everything and then everybody take care of each other. So some people are called to be rich um, because God will knows that they will use their riches to help others. Other people aren't supposed to be rich because they'll go buy Cadillacs and big nice homes and, and big lavish church things and all that other stuff. And they use it and say, well, it means we're going to get more people to come in. Well, those people may come in just to be entertained and not um, get saved or not have an experience, a relationship with God. So, um, sorry, I went out on a, on a bit of a rant there. But, I mean, that's just the way I see it. And also, one, one more point. Um, you can take a, a strong Christian man, a strong Christian man who loves God, loves Jesus, and is dirt poor and doesn't have anything, and he is very close to God in that in that time in his life, you know, because he doesn't have anything else but to call on God, to call on God to, to get food, to get his bills paid, and God will supernaturally do those things for you. He's Jehovah Jireh, you know, he's God provider. He will do those things if you call on him and ask him, you know, and supernaturally you'll see you know, like Elijah with the oil, and it kept filling up and, and um, all that stuff. Um, but you can take that same man, um, and you can give him a million dollars, and that man will quit being a Christian. You know, he will, he will turn from God because he'll feel like all his answers are being answered and stuff. So you have God knows the people that can be dirt poor and, and do his um, will and be closer to him and have a closer relationship with him dirt poor and he knows the people that he can give all this money to that will have a relationship with him and use it for good you see so no neither one of them is better than the other the rich man is definitely not better than the poor man the poor man honestly is better if you read in there jesus even says it's harder for a rich man to, um, to go through the eye of a needle for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than a rich man to get into to um the kingdom of heaven and that's true i mean the more money you get the more um evil and things come about from it you know, so 
Okay. Well, thank you guys. Um, that's my um, Bible lesson on the Freemasons. And if you got any comments or anything like that, or you know some verses that go with um, Freemasons, uh, please uh, put them uh, in the comments and let me know. Send me a message because I'd like to add it to to mine. Because you know you you go out there and you talk to people and you need the word to explain them. You know what's wrong with the things that they're doing or their family members are doing and all those type of things so you need the word to um to have the truth and to let people see the truth okay well um wake and watch for yeshua god is love and i love god amen see y'all in the next video